Good morning. My name is Kathy Ratliff, and this is my corner of the world. This is floss tube number 20. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm figuring out how to do this, but if you do this, you know that it's cray cray and things change all the time. Um, this, I'm filming this on the 18th of September, but I'm going to set it to come on to YouTube 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, on the 22nd on Friday. Fridays seem to be a good release day. So, so they say. So, uh, thank you to my 400 and something subscribers. I know some of y'all, uh, just subscribe cause you're my friends or you're my former students. And then I've got some floss tubers in there. Hello to my table mates from this past year's stitch con. Yay! I wish I was going next year, <coughs> excuse me, but I can't. I'll be in Bristol, Tennessee. Um, for a, a race, so I won't be able to do that. So I have some goodies to show you today. I have some haul, and I'm really excited about my haul. Um, all kinds of things to talk about. I actually ironed my pieces. I know, I know. It's You know why? It's because I watch um, Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. She irons her pieces, and you know she holds them up like this like this okay well I don't want to hold mine up like that because I have arm flab she does not have arm flab because she's like I don't know 12 years old no she's not uh she has teenagers so she can't be but anyway I don't want to like put my arms out there in YouTube land so anyway I as uh, she just released a video a few days ago and her pieces are always ironed and they always look so nice so it's good to see you again. Let's get started. I do have an FFO and I just realized I have to go get something. So pause. I'm back. I had to go get the piece that this piece goes on. So this is another piece I've already shown on my channel and I put it up in the fall, but it comes off. This is stitching with the housewives. Um, I can't remember what it is, but I've shown it before on my channel, but I want to show you how I switch this. So this has magnets and I got all this idea from Stitching with the Housewives. They're so fun. You should watch them. They put out a whole, whole lot of stitching and I like their stitched pieces because they're smaller. I can get them done quicker. So there's a magnet there and there's a washer on the back of these. See that? So I just take this off here. And here this is, and the piece that I FFO'd is another piece of stitching with the housewives called spring. So that's why I don't have this up right now because it's not spring anymore. But here's the spring. So I put it on this, um, this is not sticky board. This is foam core or foam board and I just hot glue it. So there's the back. Now this spring came in a kit with this blue fabric. So I stick this on here like this. Okay, let me get it all neat and pretty. And then I made this bow. I got this ribbon at a thrift store. I know it was a lucky find. And it has a, a washer on the back. I put this up here, make it look all pretty. And so here's my spring thing. And next year, I'll probably attach uh, something like a sunflower or some kind of flower right down here. So there's my spring fully finished one. And I can't pull it down. No, I can't pull it down any lower. So I'll add a flower before next year. So that's my spring FFO. Stitching with the Housewives. That was a kit. And you could subscribe to all of them or just one or two. And I, I did too. I think I did spring and summer. I haven't made the summer one yet. That's my FFO. Uh, let's get into whips, shall we? Okay. So something I started doing that I'm so excited is I bought these little plastic, um, I don't know, name tags. I don't know what they're called on Amazon. And then I put my information on here and either put it in the bag, in the project bag that I have this project in, or I hook it with a little hooky thingy, <laughs> what they're called, uh, onto the zipper pull. 
and that way I know what I'm doing. So this piece is Tetelestai by Quaint Rose Needle Arts. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Tetelestai, that means it is finished. Uh, by Quaint Rose Needle Arts. I started this on 823. Um, I'm doing one thread over two. This is a red color from Silks for You that I bought a hank of when I didn't know what a hank was. If you don't know what a hank is, it's a lot of thread. But it'll last me almost a lifetime. And I don't know the color name. It is, a, it is, I would call it a Merlot color. It has a, it's a pinkish red tone. I'm doing this on 36 counts, 36 count weeks Dye Works Platinum. Um, here are the silks. I just keep them on this little thread drop. They're yummy, yummy, yummy. And here is the pattern. I uh, got it as a PDF. That is it. Um, to tell us I means it is finished. It's from John 1930. Uh, Jesus's last words um, as he slipped into the unknown for three days. Actually, I know where he went. That's a whole nother story. We could get into that if you want to. And um, here it is. Here it is. I've gotten some of that pretty border done. I like it. It's very easy because the border, uh, super easy. I mean, it does get boring, but you know, once uh, here's the border goes around here. So that's that part and it's um, monochromatic. So it's the first piece I've ever done that is all red. I'm excited about that. And um, I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. I think I have enough room. I'm looking at it right now and it's scary, but I measured it like three or four times. So, and if there's not enough room, like, you know, I always look at pieces and think, what if I make a boo-boo? Well, if I make a boo-boo, I can stop right there. I can stop right there and put some kind of small borderish thing that's similar to this border right here. So if I make a boo-boo, I can stop right there. I always second guess myself. I, I bet you probably do the same. You get really scared when you start a piece and you've measured, 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 and you put all this work into it and you think, oh my gosh, did I make a mistake? Um, that's whip number one. Whip number two is Lady Liberty. She is by Blackbird Designs. She's supposed to be a drum. Oops. Okay, there we go. She's supposed to be a drum, but I'm not doing her that way. I am, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute when I show you her. My colors are uh, DMC, just my, my own colors. All my own colors. A 36 count Belfast dyed by me. Tea dyed, tea and coffee dyed. So here she is. And it is not going to be a drum. I am going to, here, let me see her a little closer. What I'm going to do is put her here, obviously, and then I'm going to put the flag. Uh, let me show you which part of the flag. Is there a picture of it long? No. I'm going to put this part of the flag and the flag to about right here, right next to her. So she's here and the flag, the little flowers that come before the flag will be right there and the flag will go to about right here. And um, I will frame that or make it a pillow. I can't decide which. So there she is. She's really pretty. 36 count, I think, is my new fave. And there's still stuff that, like the bottom part of that, and then she's holding, she's holding a needle in the picture. She's holding a needle. I'm not sure I'm gonna put a needle there. 
I may put um, a stick with the flame on the top, like what the Statue of Liberty is holding. I may put that. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, that's her. That's Lady Liberty by Blackbird Designs. I'm so organized. I'm getting so used to this. It's great. After 20, you think. And this is my favorite piece of all time. That'll take me five years to do. It's my five-year plan. It is by Cross Stitch Antiques. It's, it's Alice Clark, 1844. A Kind Father is a little poem that's on it, but there's another piece called I Had a Kind Father, I think that's out there right now too. But this is Alice Clark, 1844. I'm doing this uh, with the Call for 100-3 silks and 46 count Belfast died by me. I started it in, uh, it was supposed to be a birthday start. My birthday's in March, but I did it. I had originally ordered a 36 count. I did, I, you know, stitched on it a little bit, not, not a lot, but I did a lot of the border and didn't like it and decided to go to 46 count. Now, I will tell you, 46 count is a thing. It's a thing. It's, uh, I have to do it in the morning with a lot of light. This is the uh, antique, right there. It's so beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I've not um, used this uh, company, Cross Stitch Antiques, I've seen her. She does uh, floss tubes every once in a while when she comes out with things. And um, I will just give you a sneak peek of the chart like you would want to make a working copy of this. I haven't, because I'm just doing a little little piece at a time, like one motif at a time. But it's it's pretty small. So there's an example of the chart it's it's small i mean i can do it so you can do it too so here is that it's a very big piece and i tried to iron it but i'm telling you this is hard to iron i would have thought that 46 count would be easier to iron to get flat mm -mm, mm -mm. so this is what i've done so far oh and the puppy dog i had to do the dog because that was the first motif I did, and I was I was so proud of myself that I did that little dog. And now I'm here on the rose. And there's those little things. The stitches are just, they're so tiny. And yet, lordy, it looks really good. That's, I just am, I'm amazed. It is gonna be huge and it's gonna look amazing when it's done. Look at those little strawberries. I mean, they're so, so, so tiny. They're so tiny. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna work on that. I do not stitch every day. I just don't. Some days I do, some days I don't. I have kids in the area and we do things and um, so I try and stitch. I just stitch when I'm in the mood to stitch, which is usually maybe four or five times a week. I'll sit down for an hour or two. So I'm not any kind of, I don't get tons and tons done. Now this I had, uh, my goal was in September, since this is sampler September, was to get this next piece done. Not gonna happen, but I will definitely be done before Christmas. And this is Rejoice Evermore by Brenda Gervais. Oh, I forgot to tell you, in the Alice Clark one, I'm doing one thread over two. Those are silks, 103 silks. This is Brenda Gervais, Rejoice Evermore. Lots of people have done this. Um, I'm doing it with a call for threads because the call for threads are out of this world. It's absolutely beautiful. So my goal last month was to get this done and I did. And I just got uh, really antsy because I wanted to get to the house. 
And because I started here and I'm going down, I'm like, oh, forget it, man. I'm going to figure a way to start the house. So I did. Again, um, on this one, I'm using 28 count Belfast. I started this in 2022. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. So here it is. I love it. And I started on the house. Um, I've almost finished the border. Let me just show you the top. There we go. I've almost finished the border. It looks like I finished, but I haven't because let's see the whole this this whole side and the whole bottom still need the uh, little green. See the little green part right there? They still need those two little green parts of the strawberries. So, but I'm gonna start on the house. Uh, when I get the windows done, then I'll go ahead and uh, fill in with the house. It is um, easy, probably because it's 28 count. This is plain old Belfast. So it was Weigert based, is it? I don't know. I, I know that Belfast and something else is it's Weigert that are, it's the same thing, but if the count is higher, it's called something different. I think in Belfast, I'm not sure. And I don't, you know, I bought this when I didn't keep good records. Now I keep pretty good records, but it has the orange. And other stitchers know what that orange means. Swigert, I think. That's her. I so happy. I so very happy. And I think there's room in here to put, let's see, it has a Bible verse. And then Brenda Gervais put her initials right there. I'm certain I'll put mine because I love it. And I think with the alphabet down here, I've decided to make the colors of uh, the initials of my children and their spouses a different color. So like Hannah and Joey will be the same color, H and J. And then Levi and Carissa, L and C, they'll be another color. And then Jess and Ben, now Jess is, you know, Jess and Ben, I don't know what to do because I have two J's. I don't know. I'll figure something else I out. Maybe I'll use Jess. I don't know. Check with me later. And then mine will be there and probably I'll put Tom's, I'll put Tom's initials right there. Mine there and Tom's initials right there, my husband. So I just, it's amazing. And then the birds, uh, feathers are with a, a different kind of stitch. It's almost like a long satin stitch. I can't show you the, oh, well here, I can show you that up close. If you can see the bird, his wings are uh, a different kind of stitch that I've not done before. So that'll be cool. I don't think there's a, over one. Maybe the, the verse place, like Rejoice Evermore looks like it's uh, one over two. No, I'm doing two over two on this. But the this first Thessalonians looks like it's over one because it's much tinier. And that's fine. I've never done over one before. Ah. If I can stitch on 46 count, I can do over one on 28 count, right? Right. So that's that one. And let me put that there. And now I want to get to a gift and haul. A friend of mine, her name is Kathy. Uh, she and I are pals. We go to church together and we eat together and we have a good time. Um, she had this piece and she gave it to me. She used to cross stitch and this is so pretty. She gave this to me. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. 
so pretty. I don't, uh, she gave me the, I don't know what pattern it is. I don't have it anymore, but it's so beautiful. Look at all that, look at all those stitches. Just beautiful. So thank you, Kathy. She gave me that. That is just beautiful. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna put her name in the bottom right there. Right there, that'd be pretty. So thank you, Kathy. That's really beautiful. And I have had this, I have had this pattern before. And I decided I didn't want to do it, so I gave it away. And then here, see, I love it, but I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> so fabulous. Thank you, Kathy. I found this little, this is an old, um, what do you call it, kitchen towel. It's an old kitchen towel. I have not washed it yet. It needs a good washing and then I think it'll be fine. But look at that, look at that. And to my table mates, it's a flamingo. At StitchCon I started, you had me at flamingo. And I can't believe I found this flamingo. I just chuckled when I, when I found it and I thought of my sweet table mates at StitchCon. I don't know, I wanna to go to a retreat so bad. And I've budgeted, <laughs> that's a funny. Anyway, once a year, I wanna to go to a retreat and I've budgeted a certain amount because you gotta fly there, you gotta you know, Uber somewhere, you gotta eat food and I eat, I mean, girls at StitchCon, do you eat food or what? Yeah, I eat a lot of food, which is great. So I don't know, I think, I can't remember the one that Brenda and the Serial Starter just went to, but that one sounds like something I want to go to. And I, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember. I definitely want to go to the attic to either Sampler, Sampler's Weekend or something like that, Bristol, or Summer School. Because I have to meet Brenda and the Serial Starter. I have to meet them both because isn't that your dream too? And I've met Pam and Steph, so ooh, met Pam and Steph. You know, they're getting back, I think. Maybe they're already back from, oh, come on, y'all. The Dutch mania, the Dutch mania stitch thing in, it's not called Dutch. <laughs> what town? Sweden, Finland, Denmark? Denmark, maybe? And I've been watching them online uh, on uh, Instagram and what a fun time they're having. And the food, the desserts. So they're there right now. And uh, no, I will not be going to Dutch Mania. I am planning a trip to Finland in the near future. I'll let you know about, that's a long story. I'll let you know that another time. So that's my little kitchen towel. And then I bought something that, sorry, it's right behind me. Oh, here it is. Sorry, that's the back of my head. Oh, I found that at a thrift store. So I'll show you another haul I found at a thrift store. Um, look at this. It's a wooden hoop. And it has this, um, I'm assuming perforated paper-ish. Well, no, because I've seen perforated paper. But I thought, oh my gosh, I can stitch something on that. So I'm gonna try. I think I'll probably use pearl cotton. Does that sound right? Um, because it's thick. And I don't know what I'm gonna stitch on, but it, it was a dollar. <laughs> so, yay, haul. Another thing I got at a thrift store. Now y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. I got this uh, linen tablecloth for $2.50. Now, it is the size of a giant square table. It's linen, y'all. It's linen. What do we stitch on? Linen. And I'm looking at it. Here it is. Okay. 
I'm thinking it's pretty tight. It's real tight, but it, it looks like thirties in the thirties count and it's tight. So I'm going to try and stitch on this. This is a huge piece of linen. I'm just going to cut off a little square, stitch on it for maybe, you know, 50 stitches or something. I'm using one thread on a few of them and two threads on, on some more and just kind of see what it wants. And if I'm able to do it, boy, oh boy. I'm sure I'm not the only person that's thought of buying table linens and stitching on them. I can't be the only person. But it is a tight weave, so that may negate the whole thing. But it costs $2.50, and it's an enormous piece. I would say three yards. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'll do that by, uh, I'll do that by next time. Okay. Oh! <laughs> It was not an earthquake. I just knocked something over. Okay. Uh, new haul. You know, I should have put this to my right so that you don't have to keep seeing me like turn my head around like I'm some kind of bad Stephen King movie. Okay. There's one missing, but I bought some scissors. Um, Facebook. Facebook. Amazon. I needed some scissors. Um, I, you know, I can't afford the really, really expensive ones. So I bought these bird scissors. They come like six in a package. They're on Amazon. See, they're a little bird. That one's gold. This one's silver. And these are just enamel. I hope you could see that. I can't tell. Oops. Oh, golly. Did I spill my coffee? Oh, golly. And here's, here's another one. Aren't they pretty? Now, because these are inexpensive and they work just fine, they're very, 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 very sharp. <laughs> It's the morning, and I haven't had all my coffee in yet on this perky. Can you imagine me with more than one cup of coffee? And I'm gonna have some of it right now. This is tears of my students. <laughs> I used to be a teacher. I'm not anymore. I'm retired. A uh, hall, more hall. I am, a, oh, there's the, um, here's the one that's brass colored. There's the other one, brass colored. So that was cool. And then I'm also a quilter. And I saw this advertised somewhere. It's called the Seam Guide Ruler. That's what it looks like. And if you go online, you can look at this. Just type in the Seam Guide Ruler. And you can put this magnet Line this up and put your needle through whatever you want your seam width to be. Sorry. Put your needle through whatever seam width. The needle will go through there. And then slide the magnet next to the ruler. And then your seams. The magnet's pretty hefty duty magnet. And uh, it'll, it'll make your seam the right width. Now, the problem with this that just occurred to me is that I have an electronic machine and you're not supposed to have magnets near an electronic machine. So I'm gonna write the company and say, can this magnet go on the bobbin? You know, it's right there by the bobbin. Cause most of the, all of the electronics on that machine are to the, you know, that far over to the right. I have a Juki. So we'll see about that. Another piece of haul, and I can't remember if I showed you this in my last video or not, so if I did, I apologize, but these are um, going to be Christmas ornaments for my family members in the shape of the state they live in. This is Colorado, and then I'll put the, I'll stitch, it has little holes in it, and I'll stitch in that, the Colorado flag, and this is Michigan. I don't know which way it goes, y'all. Does it go I'm so dumb about Michigan. 
I don't know which way. Look, it's like a little shark. I know this is the glove. So I'm not sure which way Michigan goes. Yes, I'm a teacher. Yes, I'm educated. And I don't know the shape of Michigan. This is Florida. I do know the shape of Florida. Let's see. It goes that No, it goes that way. So there's Florida. And Texas. This one's for me. I'm from Texas. Yay! So those are going to be ornaments for Christmas. I think I got those on Etsy. I got those on Etsy. You could probably get them on one, two, three stitch. I don't know, but you, you probably can. So that's my haul. And then I have a few um, free charts that I found online. This is by Isabella Abiati, The Primitive Hair. She has a lot of free things, but here, yeah, it is called llamas, the primitive hair. Here's the top part of the, the paper right there, the primitive hair. So go on the primitive hair. There's llamas. There's M-A-B-O-N, M-A-B-O-N. It must mean grapes. I don't know, but it is like a grape hanging there. The llama one. There's not a llama and oh, there is a llama. There's more to the picture. Okay, I don't have the other part of the picture. Do I? I don't. I need to go back and get that. So M-A-B-O-N, and there's a picture of a grape there. Uh, the winter solstice, Yule winter solstice is another free chart on the primitive hair. It's got a deer. It's really pretty. It has a little deer there. And then also she has a beautiful piece called Sister Stitcher that is free. And it's called Free from the Hair to You. Um, and it's cute. It has two, you know, little girls joining needles and says Sister Stitcher. And there's um, two um, spools of thread. Really cute. So Primitive Hair, you can always find freebies there. And then I also found a freebie that I am so sorry I didn't write down where I got this, but it is the Queen's Jubilee. And it is a, it has a cartouche and it has a crown in there, like her crown that she wore that has, that has the red and then the diamond and all that. And then at the bottom, it says Platinum Jubilee, like in a ribbon looking thing, 1952-2022. Because I, I really wanted, you know, that's a piece of history for everyone, for the world. That's quite a reign, whether you agree with a monarchy or not. It's uh, it's quite a feat, and it is historical. So uh, I wanted to make like a little pillow out of that. It looks like it is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 by, oh, no, 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 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 by 70. It's 60 by 70. So not too bad. So that's what I wanted there. And I think, oh, here's future plans. Uh, first of all, future plans are uh, to get these done by Christmas, to stitch something on that um, interesting little hoop that I got. And then also I'm kidding up two things. I'm kidding up, um, Tis the Season. This is in a book called Home for the Holidays by Blackbird Designs. Oh, look at my glasses. Aren't they funny with that reflection? Blackbird Designs, Home for the Holidays. There's all kinds of things in here. I think originally these pieces were separate and now they're all in this book, but here's Tis the Season. A lot of people have stitched that. It's in French and you, and you can get it in English as well. Not the book, the Tis the Season. It says, C'est la saison pour bleed the blue bleed the blue blue. That's what that says in French. So I'm kidding this up and I can't decide whether I want it on, um, I have this 36 count platinum by Weeks Dye Works. It's really pretty. It's pretty. And I'm either going to do the Tis the Season on this platinum 
or I'm going to do Christmas Garden. Christmas Garden is an older uh, piece, but then was re-released, I think, in this book. Here it is, Christmas Garden. I know uh, Carol Saltbox Stitcher has done this piece. It, and uh, so has um, Brenda uh, from Brenda and the Serial Starter. They've probably both done this. But I've seen this piece on walls, on both of their walls, and it doesn't look this bright. And if it is true what it looks like on, especially Carol Saltbox Stitcher, if that's what it looks like on her wall, I want to do different colors because it's very muted and a lot of people love that. I want brighter because I'm a Christmas girl. So I will probably choose some much brighter reds and greens. There's only, I believe, one, two, three, four colors in this whole thing. Four, y'all. But they're, they're also classic, let's see, classic color works and gentle arts. So that means they're variegated and that's why it looks like more than four colors. So I'm going to take a while to think about that because it's big. It's beautiful. Let's see. What's the stitch? What's the stitchy thing here? A 225 by 272. This finished piece is 15 by 18. Mine will be smaller. 13 by 15. Something like that. So there it is. I don't want to do 30 count because... I don't want to use two threads. I'm really spoiled once I started using 36 and above, or 35, there's some 35s out there. I'm using one over two. I My stitches are so much prettier than when I use two over two on less than 35 count. And that's why I want to do it that way. So Christmas garden, it's just so pretty. So I've been doing a floss toss to figure out what I want to use for either one of those because I want them to both have the same colors in them because they'll be put out at Christmas. I may leave Christmas garden out all the time. I, I will. It's a sampler. I'll leave it out all the time. But tis the season I will probably only put out at Christmas and I want them to kind of be placed in the same place near each other. So I'm looking at all different kinds of colors. Like my, my first thing was um, for Tis the Season was these colors and I don't like them and I don't like this white. I got this silk, I think it's DMC silk. Yeah, DMC 55200 silk. It is so bright white. I'm not sure that that, because it's so bright and it's silk, that's kind of what I wanted to do on the, that piece has snowflakes. Uh, let me show it to you again. So let me know what you think, cause see this piece has snowflakes and that white silk will jump out. I just don't know if it'll jump out too much. So let me know what you think. The other colors I haven't decided yet cause these colors in here are very variegated and I want to use colors that I have because I'm just being frugal. I want to use things that I have. And the bird in this picture, now I don't have this thread, but in this picture, in this magazine, it looks more like an orangey red. And I don't like that. But if I see this color in person, it may look completely different. You know how that works. But the greens I'll get, I'll either use DMC or use something that I have. And my quandary also is that in that piece, in the pieces that I'm working on right now, not the one that's uh, the 100 3s, but the Rejoice Evermore, the colors in that I absolutely love. So I want to finish that piece soon so that I can see if I can use some of those leftover colors in this Tis the Season. And then if I use them in Tis the Season, then I'll use those same colors in Christmas Garden. Buy some more or whatever. Do you catch my drift? I mean, I just love the colors in Rejoice Evermore. I think that's all. If it isn't, I'll just I'll think of something else. I wanted to start 
Christmas garden in Sampler September. But I don't want to start it just to say I started a sampler. I want to know the colors for sure. You don't start a sampler and not like the colors. Now you can always start one and change. Done that before. You don't go very far, but start it and then change. So I don't want to start and change. I want to know what I'm doing. So that's why I'm waiting. Same thing I did on a, boy, this is going long. And it's the, this is the same thing I did on, um, remember 12 by 12 New Year's Eve, if you participated, participated in that, that was where you started like 12 things on New Year's Eve. Like every hour you started something new. I did that. I only did six because then I went to a party. So I only did six, but all of the, almost all of those six, I never went back to because I started fast. I decided fast. I just didn't take my time. So I'm not going to do that again. If I'm doing 12 by 12 again, I'm going to start two or three months earlier trying to decide the, the starts I want to do. I want them all to be smalls, uh, maybe even ornaments. Cause I told myself this year I do the, the 12 strawberries from, um, 12 Days of Christmas Strawberries by the person that does all the strawberries. Oh, I know you're screaming at me, and I'll put her name below, but, like, here's one of the strawberries. Here's one. Two turtle doves. Kim, is it Kim? I'll put it below. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was going to do one of those a month. <clears throat> I've done two, and this one's not finished. So, I'm on... Let's see. Partridge in a pear tree, two turtle doves, three French. I'm on three French hens right now, and they're cute, but I come on. Who, who was I kidding? That's all I have to share. So thank you for stopping by so much. Please like and subscribe and share with other floss tubers. I would appreciate a mention here and there. And um, I just love sharing this time. This community is this, the sweetest community ever. That this is the community where there's no politics. There are no pol there's no room for politics in this community. It's just everybody, see, everybody can get along. The whole world just needs to cross stitch. And then uh, we just need to send a little cross stitch back to everyone in Congress. Okay? All those politicians need one little cross-stitch thing. And they need to all meet one day and sit down and cross-stitch. And it'll be like a little convention. Okay, can you imagine how fun that would be? And they'd all get along. And, you know, they'd probably get more done because they're not getting a lot done there right now. So, yes, let's send your politician a cross-stitch to do. <sighs> I digress. Have a great day, a great week, and a great life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.